Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the X6 or the PlayStation Portable ripoff from China. Can we add games and how are we going to get add games? That is what we're going to do in this video. Don't forget to check out the full review of this device. I have it for a very long time in my collection, but a lot of people didn't know how to add games. There are two ways. Let's talk about the first one. All right, so the first thing, the first way how we can add games is through the USB connection. So this version that is old school is using the mini USB that you can find on the top of the system. So what we're going to do is plug it in, turn it on, and let's grab ourselves the PC because I'm going to show you how you can add games. All right, so in the next step, we're going to plug in the cable in the PC and we'll ask you what to do. I recommend choose the power and data. I mean, doing this, it will see this handheld like a storage device in your Windows. When everything works, it will show up like this. You need to open it up like a folder because it's just a storage device or an external storage device in this case. And the next thing that we're going to see is all of the folders are inside the storage. And as you can see, there are quite some. Don't mess around too much with it because we only need the game folder. Because in the game folder, here we need to put our games in. Depends of course what kind of version you're having and the reason I'm saying this, some of them already have some preset folders, but you can just make them yourself. I always re recommend doing this because it's so very easy to search your games. So that's the only thing you need to do when it comes for adding games and using the internal storage. And by the way, when you're putting the wrong games in, in wrong folder that's not a big of an issue because at the end when you're clicking on a file it just recognize what kind of emulator it's going to use all right so for the next part we are going to use an sd card it can be basically anything that you're laying around i would just say don't get a very huge one maximum of 16 gigabyte and the reason why because you can add playstation 1 to this device but it is pretty damn pointless because it runs like crap then we're going to need a little card reader because it is just convenient. I will leave links in the description where you can find these things. And what we're going to do in the next thing is just powering on and we're going to use an SD card. And I'm guessing a lot of people have problems because when you're using an SD card and you don't format it in the right format, it was a little bit annoying getting it in, you will get this message that the format is not correct, please reformat. Nevertheless, I'm going to show you how you need to set it up so it works like a charm. With the card reader, we can very easily put it in our PC through the USB connection. When everything goes like it should be, we'll show the SD card. So the first thing that we need to do, we're going to format it. By pressing right mouse click on the SD card, left mouse click on the format option. So what you're going to need to do over here is you need to format it in the right format. If you choose something different, like the first option for example, or the FAT32, you will get the error that a lot of people will have at the moment. So you need to put it on XFAT. We just gave it a different name. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter what kind of name you're using, or maybe you're not filling it in, but it's just for showing here in the video. All right, so it's formatted. Always use quick format. And that's it. I recommend making some folders because it is way more convenient to use when you're having multiple files. You can drop them inside this folder if you have, say, five or ten games. But at the end, it's going to be pretty damn messy if you are using a lot of different files. All right, so everything is set up and it needs to work like a charm. I'm going to put the SD card back in. You get the same message, but this time you don't get the error message. How you need to go to the card itself is a little bit tricky, a little bit strange. You can use the browse function, for example. You go choose card directory. And as you can see, here we have the two folders that we have created. So that are the two ways you can add games to the X6 PSP ripoff. Yeah, it's pretty damn easy, but you just need to know how to format the card. And if you don't do it right, you can have the option to add your SD card and add the files. 
If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.